Hello, it's Chrissy and welcome back to my channel. So I am very excited to be here today to talk to you a little bit about what I'm up to. Now, a couple of days I came on and I talked a little bit about where I've been. Uh, I haven't been posting for a while on YouTube. So I talked a little bit about where I've been and what my plan is moving forward. I said that over the weekend, I would think about my goals, how I'll get there and what um, my target is. So what I did was I thought about it and my big goal or my umbrella goal is I want to lose 60 pounds by March, 2025. And I picked March because that's my birthday month. And so my goal is by March, I wanna lose 60 pounds. My, goal, my other goal is I need to make sure that I work out at least three days a week, some type of movement. I'm not going to uh, lock myself into what type of movement, but my goal is every week, I need to work out and move my body a minimum of three days. If I get more than three days, hey, that is awesome and two thumbs up. But my minimum, minimum is three days a week, some form of movement. I talked a little bit about my food plan. Uh, as you know, before I focused on keto, I've moved away from keto and I'm trying to focus on clean, wholesome foods. So the majority of the time, my goal is to build my meals on whole foods for the most part. For the most part. Now, of course, there might be some fun elements tied in there, here and there, but for the most part, more fruits, vegetables, protein, healthy fats, um, lots of fruits, lots of vegetables. And, you know, if I do, you know, of course, I'm not gonna say if I do because I'm trying not to be too restrictive, but as far as the, um, the carbs I'm eating, I'm trying to focus those more on whole, like brown rice or brown rice pasta, uh, sweet potatoes, and trying my best to not focus on white processed carbs, like um, more whole grains is what direction I'm going. So that is my plan. Um, now, as far as the smaller goals, you know, some people like to go, here's the year, then they like to go into the quarter, then they go into the month and down to the week. I don't know if I wanna tie myself in and say, okay, every quarter I need to lose this much weight and every month I need to lose this much weight and every week I need to lose this much weight because what I don't wanna do is get discouraged um, if I don't see that goal. But they do say healthy weight loss is about a pound, pound and a half a week. So that's pretty reasonable. But, you know, hey, I might have to make it up in the month because something didn't go quite the way I wanted it to in the week. But at the end, by March, my goal is to try to hit those 60 pounds. And so I had said, you know, put it out there. If there's anyone out there who wants to go on this journey with me, I would love to see it in the chat. If you have a goal that you want to reach by the first quarter next year, which is March, uh, put it in the chat. I would love to hear what you want to focus on uh, by the first quarter of next year. Let's give, our, give ourselves a chance to transform through this summer into the first quarter. So I'm in it. I hope you're in it. I'm in it to win it. I really am trying to focus on my health. Uh, I was really excited and happy when I went to my doctor last time or when I got my blood work done and my numbers were going in the right direction and I want to continue going in the right direction because at the end of the day like they say health is true wealth right if it doesn't matter you can have all the money in the world but if you're not you know, well enough to enjoy it what is it going to profit you so that's my goal and I'm hoping that by increasing my movement and my exercise by eating the right foods, I believe strongly that what you eat can help heal your body. It can change you. So I want to just be a different person. I really want to embrace this whole clean lifestyle. So we'll see how it goes. And so I hope you have a good week. And I also mentioned um, that I want, oh, as far as posting videos, my goal is once a week to at least post a video once a week. Sometimes I might come in a couple days, uh, depending on what's happening that week. 
but my goal is at least once a week to post a video so we can, you know, I can keep track and share with you how the progress is, is going. And I would love to hear also from you how your progress is going on your journey. So have a good day and I will see you soon. Bye. Good morning. So I like to typically start my day off if I'm working from home with uh, iced coffee. So this is kind of the setup for me. I'll brew me a, I'll try to do this with one hand, brew me some coffee, and then I just, you know, get that going in there. A little bit of coffee. And pretty much to there. The main thing for me with my coffee, honestly, is I like it creamy. So then I use this silk um, cashew milk. And I just pour some of that in here. You know, try, uh, 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 made a mess. As you can see, I really mainly prefer the, um, the creaminess of the coffee. Let me get my straw so I can make sure it's exactly the way I like it. So look at that, just kind of just, it's just like that perfect shot that, you know, cashew milk just blending with the coffee ever so lovely. And then what I do is I put a little bit of um, silk creamer. I like this brand, it's the, um, I think it's the sweet cream. So then I put a little bit of that in there just to get it a little sweet. <laughs> How about have a little coffee with your coffee? And then just a little bit of sugar-free English toffee here. It's kind of hard to do this with one hand and holding the camera. Hold on, let's get this open here. There we go. So then this is a, a brand I like. I need to find something a little bit cleaner, of course, but for now I use this Tarani English toffee syrup, sugar-free. And then I just pour a little bit in there for the sweetness. And then just get it all mixed together. And this is pretty much how I like to start my day. Just kind of start it off slow with my coffee. Then I ease into the food, but usually I'll have this coffee and then I'll also have a mason jar of water with it. So I'm trying to make sure I have my water with my coffee. So that's pretty much how I typically start my morning is with my nice, lovely cup of iced coffee there. Okay, I'll be back later to show you what's happening for breakfast. Bye. So when I'm working from home, I like to keep breakfast very simple, quick and very, very easy. Um, so today I had a chicken apple breakfast scramble. And so what I did was I took one chicken apple sausage, I cut it up and just put it in a frying pan and just browned it, um, quickly browned the um, chicken apple sausage. And once that was um, nice and brown, everything else happens very quickly. So what I did was I took um, two eggs. So usually um, I'll just have two eggs and then to uh, kind of bulk it up a little bit, I'll add a little bit of egg whites to it also uh, and some kind of vegetable. Sometimes I like to add vegetables to it also just to give it a little bit of, little bit of fiber. So what I did was I put some Kerrygold butter in the skillet. Um, I let it get nice and hot. And then from that point, it goes very quickly. So once that gets nice and hot, I go ahead and toss in uh, my eggs. And so what you see there is two eggs and um, some egg whites. And then I just add a little bit of salt and pepper. I keep my eggs very simple as far as seasoning is concerned. Salt and pepper. And then from that point, if you remember, I've already cooked the um, chicken apple sausage. So now it's just pretty much just dump, dump and stir, dump and stir very quick. So I have my sausage and then I added this morning, I had tomatoes. And so uh, whatever veggies you have, just toss them in um, and get as much fiber in as you can. And then I just quickly scrambled it up and then that was breakfast. So I have high protein it's gonna keep me satiated and it's gonna take me to my next meal. So that's pretty much what was for breakfast. And that was my scramble. So I had my iced coffee and my uh, scrambled eggs. Uh, 
Okay, so now it's time for dinner. And dinner tonight was super simple, but delicious. So tonight we had pesto chicken and sweet potatoes. And you can't forget your salad. You gotta get those veggies in there too. So we also had a garden salad. So what I did pretty much is um, I marinated the chicken, but prior to that I added salt and pepper and then I marinated the chicken in this pesto um, that you see here and just let it sit for a little bit. And then I quickly pan fried the chicken. So I put um, some olive oil in the skillet, let it get nice and hot, and then I just put the chicken in the skillet and cooked it. Uh, what you'll notice also is in the oven, or I forgot to mention in the oven, I had my sweet potatoes roasting on 425 degrees, and that probably cooked for about 25, 30 minutes. And so everything came together really quickly. As the chicken was cooking, I was working on my garden salad. I used arugula. Um, some olives, uh, a little bit of goat cheese, and then for the dressing, uh, just a little bit of olive oil and some pear, um, pear vinegar. So I use a lot of vinegars for my salads um, instead of, you know, the processed dressings. I try to use as many natural ingredients as I can. So I just use, um, you know, you should try that. I recommend that the vinegars are awesome and very flavorful and they definitely are really good um, as far as calories are concerned. So here's my dinner, a nice green salad, sweet potato and pesto chicken. Dinner was great. It's easy to get a meal on the table quickly. That's delicious and flavorful. flavorful. So I hope you enjoyed what I had, um, what I ate today and uh, come back and watch next week. Bye.